So most people have have cartridges. Anybody that collects retro gaming knows that uh, cartridges generally last forever. I mean, there isn't a whole lot that goes wrong with them. But they do have contacts on the inside that tend to get a little dirty over the years and being shoved into dirty machines and things like that. And what we're going to do is show you some basic techniques to quickly clean them and get them up and running. Dan has come up with something called repair levels, where each repair will be graded at a certain level. This way, you can know if you will feel comfortable or not attempting the repair. For this fix, this repair has been graded as a level 1. It will require little to no repair experience, the repair will take you under 10 minutes, and the repair includes very few steps. You are only going to need two items for today's repair, and the first item you will need is 91% or better alcohol. Now the 91% or better is extremely important. Make sure that it is better because under 91% and the alcohol will not evaporate as fast and can leave harmful residue on your cartridge contacts. This item can be found at all convenience stores and will cost you between $1 to $3. One bottle is going to last you a very long time and chances are you probably have some of this lying around your house. The second item you're going to need is Q-tips. Again, more than likely you're going to have some of these lying around your house. But if not, these can be found at any convenience store as well. It's going to cost you anywhere between two to four bucks, and unfortunately, you can't just buy a box of five or ten. You have to buy a box of like 500. And if you aren't using them to clean your ears, a box of Q-tips is going to last you a very long time as well. And that's it, that's all the tools you're going to need for this repair. So depending on the supplies you have lying around your house, this repair should cost you $5 or under. As a level 1 repair, this fix is quite simple. As you can see, this NES is showing a white screen. To fix this, you're going to take your 91% or better alcohol and squeeze some onto the Q-tip. You don't want the Q-tip to be sopping, so with your thumb and pointer finger, squeeze the excess alcohol off the Q-tip. With the Q-tip in hand, take the cartridge and vigorously rub with slight pressure on the contacts of the NES cart. And as you can see, lots of dirt, which is why the game is not working. Now turn the Q-tip to the other side with the alcohol on it, and again, rub vigorously to the other side of the contacts. Next, take the dry, clean side of the Q-tip and do the rub the same exact way to both sides of the contacts. This is to soak up any excess alcohol that may have been left on the cartridge contacts. Since this game was especially dirty, Dan is going to clean it again. Depending on the dirt level, you may need to clean your game up to three or four times before it works. Just make sure to always use the dry side of the Q-tip to dry the contacts. It is equally as important as the alcohol side. Last, put the cartridge back in the system, turn it on, and there you go! Good as new! 10 yard fight in all its glory. This is probably the most screen time it's gotten since 1985. As you can see, Dan is using a retro trio for ease of use. However, it doesn't matter if you are using the actual system or not. Once the games are cleaned, it will work on all systems. And this repair doesn't just work on NES games. It works on all cartridge-based games. Here is an example of Dan cleaning a Super Nintendo game. Just follow the same exact steps as you did with the NES games. And just for good measure, here's an example of Dan cleaning a Sega Genesis game. And lastly, an example of Dan cleaning a Nintendo 64 game. Don't mind the slight discoloration on the right side of the TV screen. That is actually the TV, not the game. The TV's kind of on the fritz. And that's it! Congratulations, you have successfully cleaned your first cartridge. Dan also suggests that you take the time and clean all of your cartridges before you play them. Not only will this help your cartridges last longer, but it will also keep your systems cleaner and prevent dirt from building up in its pin set. And now you can play all of your favorite retro games, like Mega Dan, Danamaniacs, Danamite Hetty, and Danjo Kazooie. 
But this repair isn't just for the NES, SNES, Genesis, and N64 games. Nope. This cleaning will also work for Atari games, Intellivision, Master System, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and even DS games as well, and any cartridge games that I'm forgetting. So that's it. And always remember, your repair is not done until it's Dan. And with this repair, we can officially call it Dan. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe as we have more videos coming soon.